friends let's study about uh, the ion selective electrode so we see the significance of uh, this instrument or this technique when we have to measure out different kinds of ions in the body fluids such as the sodium the potassium the magnesium okay the calcium so these kind of ions can be detected or checked out by using the ion selective electrode so ion selective electrodes are also known as specific ion electrodes so what it does is it converts the activity of specific ions which are dissolved in a solution it converts them into an electrical potential okay so they are used for analytical chemistry they are used in uh, biochemical reactions to uh, to in estimate the amounts or the concentration of ions present in aqueous solutions okay so we can see that the the activity or the signals depend upon uh, the activities of ions in the solution and they can exhibit a certain degree of selectivity for particular types of ions in that solution. So we have a pictorial representation of a very simple um, a basic representation of an ion selective electrode. So in which we show um, the silver chloride and the silver electrodes. Okay, Silver chloride will act as the electrolyte. So there will be movement of electrons usually from uh, the region or from the uh, anode to the cathode. So in the other cathode, we have the uh, positively charged uh, ions will move. Okay, So the anions will move towards the cathode and negatively charged the cations will move towards the anode. So it is uh, it's because of this electrolyte solution, there will be a potential difference that will happen. So because of that potential difference, there will be movement of uh, electrons or movement of ions okay so that will result in charge so the potential difference will help indicate or will help understand the the, the quantity or the estimate the amount of ions which are present in the solution so there are four uh, main types of ion selective uh, membranes used for ion selective electrodes so we have the glass membrane the solid state membrane the liquid base membrane and the compound electrodes so there are four different kinds of membranes that can be used for the different ion selective electrodes. So let's look into the glass membrane type of electrode. So uh, they are made from ion exchange type of glass such as the silicate or the chalcogenic uh, type of glass. Okay, This is the material uh, silicate or chalcogenite and then they are used for a single type of ions such as uh, the protons, the sodium, the, sul the silver ions, Okay, Ag+, Na+, proton H plus silver a single type of ions. So uh, they have good selectivity but their range of the ions that they can work with is limited. So a common example is the pH glass electrode. So this is the pH glass in, uh, electrode in the picture. So that is inserted into the silver chloride or the potassium chloride solution. Okay. So in the pH of the external solution changes the electric potential across the electron membranes also change. So that will lead to uh, transport of protons. Okay, So uh, that is how um, the pH is measured using a pH electrode. So we have uh, another type of um, membrane membrane of an ion selective electrode which is the crystalline membrane. Okay, So in this the membrane is made up of a mono or polycrystals of single substance. Okay, so it there is good sensitivity, but what happens is the substance has to be uh, converted into a crystal structure in order to get an electrode response. The fact that the substance has to be converted into a crystalline structure that serves as a difference, the major difference between um, the crystalline type of electrode and the glass membrane electrodes. So there is no internal solution, the electrolyte solution that will uh, reduce the junctions. Okay. So the selectivity of crystalline structure can be both for the cation and anion membrane forming substance. Okay, so it is uh, it can be serving for both the cation as well as the anion. Then uh, example is the fluoride selective electrode, which is based on LaF3 crystals. So another type of membrane used in the ion exchange electrode is the ion exchange resin membrane. So in this we have uh, a specific ion exchange substance, which is the resin. Okay. So this is made up of special organic polymer. So this is the most uh, widely used type of ion specific uh, electrode and then they are more selective for um, anionic ions, anionic ions. Then they have low chemical and physical durability therefore low survival time. 
So an example for an ion exchange resin uh, membrane is the ion exchange resin which is based on valinomycin as ion exchange agent. So next we have the alkali metal ion selective electrode. So this type of electrode is specifically uh, made for uh, Sing, uh, specifically made for metal ions okay so it's specific for each alkali metal lithium sodium potassium cesium etc so it is based on the principle that uh, we encapsulate the metal ion in a molecular cavity okay and then that size of that molecular cavity is matched to the size of the ion so this is the principle behind alkali metal isc so for an example we will use uh, a valinomycin based electrode for the determination of potassium ion concentration. So that is the example which is for alkali metal ion selective electrode. Thank you.